2020. Those words will be remembered the world over for all the wrong reasons. The year started with a sense of optimism. This was the year that I would take my photography to the next level. Together, me and my Fujifilm X-T30 were going to kill it. After all, what could go wrong? Armed with a new book, 52 Assignments in Landscape Photography, the script was written. A full year of videos in one book. Easy! <laughs> well, so I thought. And yes, at first it seemed easy. I made several outings to Fundy National Park, as well as some more local trips to Irish Town Nature Park. Little did I know that one of these outings would produce a rather special image. I managed to get some nice winter shots at Fundy, even attempting a Thomas Heaton style square crop. So here's a composition that I think would suit the long lens. Um, I came across this the other day actually when I was down here shooting some other stuff for, for my previous video. While I was here I came across this scene here behind me here. A um, little group of trees there. It's just lending itself to a longer focal length. Uh, I'm thinking actually a black and white but there is some colour in front there. There's a tiny, there's a tiny bit of red there. I think some dogwoods or some, and there's some grasses there too. So that give a bit of interest at the base of the frame. But I'm thinking a square crop with those kind of contorted branches there that you can see. It's very, uh, very Thomas Heaton or uh, Simon Baxter. <laughs> but it was a trip to my local Irish Town Park that would produce a rather special image. So guys, the light today has turned out to be absolutely terrible, really overcast and dull, and no good for landscapes. So I'm not gonna get that epic landscape shot, but what I've been doing is focusing on details in trees, moss, lichen on the trees, bark, that type of stuff. But anyway, this shot here, don't know if you guys can notice that, but absolutely amazing, rich, deep brown colour. A few shades of brown in there on this nice birch. Unfortunately, some assholes vandalised the tree as usual, but um, focusing on this here, and I tried a few different shots with the 18 to 55 on. Might stick the long lens on because it's a better quality lens and see if I can get another shot there too. But um, amazing detail. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I'm hoping I can make this happen. So why is it special? Well, <laughs> this image was entered into the International Landscape Photographer of the Year competition and just missed the cut for inclusion in the book. It scored 84% with a score of 85.4 needed to make the book. Of course, I would not know this until November. Nonetheless, when I got the results, I was super excited. For me, this was a fantastic achievement. And it shows me while I milk this image for just a little bit. One location though, would prove to be my nemesis, at least as far as video was concerned. And I have yet to get a decent vlog from here. That location is Waterside Beach. Waterside Beach, a fantastic location and I have managed to get some cool shots from here especially ICM and abstracts but the videos well let's hope 2021 will be much better after all it couldn't be any worse
This clip is from my absolutely glorious video, which was one of my favourites from the year. You should check it out. Again, it was from Fundy National Park, a third choice location for that morning, and despite being attacked by the piranha of flying insects, I came away with some wonderful images. The title of that video echoed exactly how I felt that day. I really need to get to Waterside Beach, and when I looked at the forecast, low tide and sunrise were going to coincide. Perfect. Get to Waterside Beach, you know what I'm going to say. Another failed video from Waterside Beach. Fired off a few images of this beautiful scene here. Just a small lake, some trees, and the sun is just catching them. Fucking mosquitoes. Oh, so good morning, guys, and welcome to the glorious Fundy National Park. This morning, well, the original plan this morning, excuse the mosquitoes, guys. <laughs> pure dead brilliant, by the way, pure dead brilliant. Like, but as you can tell, he's. Uh, these bugs are fucking insane. <laughs> Excuse the language. Oh, Jesus. These bugs are terrible. Um, oh, man. Loving it. Uh, you know, you've heard me say before, it's all about the image. But on reflection, uh, I think with what's going on in the world lately, it's not always about the image, guys. Just look at this. Listen. Birds, mosquitoes. <laughs> no, no, really. I think uh, I think myself and a lot of people in general, not just photographers, maybe just take this world that we live in a bit too much for granted. If I'd have brought some bug spray with me, this would be absolutely glorious. Oh, fucking bugs are back again! Jesus Christ! Jesus. Fuck. I think these little bastards are midges that followed me from Scotland. Fucking Canadian midges. I thought only you I thought you only got them in Scotland. Look like they came from Glencoe. Uh. Normally I'm always on about it's all about the image. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Last couple of times I've been out, I think I have a better appreciation for things. I think uh, myself and, and probably a lot of people actually take this world we live in just way too much for granted. Being out this morning, yeah it's a pain getting out of bed, but this is glorious, Abs absolutely glorious. What more could you ask for? And like I say, I think we just, uh, I think we tend to take things for granted and I think this period of uh, uncertainty in the world is, is kind of, it's made me realise actually just what we have and to appreciate it just that little bit more. Like a lot of landscape photographers here on YouTube, I am inspired by several photographers and on this occasion it was a video by Thomas Heaton which made me visit the scene of my first ever video. With fresh eyes and no expectations, I came away with some very nice images and new compositions. So yeah, why return to the scene of my very first video? And I came across a video some guy called Thomas Heaton. Now, I just happened to click on his video and uh, he was talking about how he doesn't plan for his photo trips and how he has no expectations uh, and he was encouraging people just to go out with no expectations. 
So I'm assuming he knows what he's talking about because he's uh, he's got quite a few subscribers there, and uh, my video had been up for an hour and 15 minutes, had three views, one of which was me. Mr. Heaton's video was up for an hour, 15 minutes less than mine, and he had three and a half thousand views. <laughs> But I was kind of inspired by his video, so uh, I thought, well, I'll go out. Where can I go that I wouldn't have any expectations? So I thought I'd return here to the Paulette River uh, and Gibson Falls, the scene of my very first video. And I have no expectations because I've already got lots and lots of shots from here. A very grey overcast morning led me to Herring Cove Beach in Fundy National Park, again inspired by another photographer and one of the first guys I started to follow and continue to be inspired by, Gary Goff. For some time I had been in search of a minimalistic long exposure and on this occasion I managed to pull it off, capturing several nice images. I find this style of photography extremely addictive and can't help but stick on the filters every time I get close to the water. So guys, it's turning into a bit of a, a black and white show this morning, I think. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The, the tide is still on its way out. I've been down here a few times, never realised that the tide goes out just quite as far as it does, and it's still going out. Also, that rock right there, just a few minutes ago, the water was all round that. Absolutely amazing. I've managed to hopefully get a few images of that at different parts of the composition. I tried some over to the right, some over to the left, some on its own. Um, here comes the rain again. <laughs> Best laid plans and everything. I just knew I had to get out and, and concentrate on some photography and I think I got some good images. Uh, so this if, this, if this turns out, this video just might be a bit heavy on the images. but. Remember in Canada Day when I did a video there, I said I was going to do the Fundy project, so hopefully I may have some images for my Fundy project. Oh, this is, this is amazing. So much better than 38 degrees or whatever it was the other day there. Uh, insane heat and humidity. And this could be somewhere on the west coast of Scotland. Just before I leave you guys, um, composition here, this rock here uh, in the foreground and that little bit of pointy land there, uh, did a nice composition from there. Uh, when I say long exposure, it's not terribly long but around a second, a couple of seconds uh, and took a couple of shots there so we'll see how they turn out. Guys this rain is just so persistent, I was hoping it would ease off a little bit. Um, when I said to you there I was going to try and take shelter, I actually didn't. I found another composition and I fired off a shot real quick. No idea what it's going to be like. There is a composition behind me. Um, that birch that's lying on the, the hillside there. I think it's a birch. That was catching my eye and I think there's a shot there. I just don't know if I should try and take the bag off the camera here and try another shot or not but I was attracted to it for sure anyway guys uh, 
It's looking like rain has stopped play. By now, Covid had really got a hold and I was venturing out less and less. I did, however, capture some nice images in the garden of flowers and of the hummingbirds. I was also working through all of these crazy times and although by no stretch of the imagination am I an essential worker, the stress of all this was surely starting to play a part. When fall arrived, I was hopeful that I could kickstart the vlogging once again. I headed to Fundy with my Fujifilm. Maple Grove was the destination, and I struggled to come away with a quality image, although I did love the outing. This day ended up with me shooting three videos Maple Grove, Dixon Falls and yet another failed video attempt from Waterside. Although I did manage to get a couple of nice ICM shots from Waterside Beach. Isn't this absolutely glorious? Beautiful autumn day here in New Brunswick. I'm at Waterside Beach. Guys, welcome to another video. A very important date was looming, and before I knew it, it was upon me. One year on YouTube. Who would have guessed? It had been on my mind for weeks. This was a video I simply had to make. Despite increasing doubts about being out, and a rapidly decreasing photography mojo, I pulled myself together, and headed out for what would surely be an epic adventure. Once again, I headed to Fundy National Park and decided to tackle the coastal trail. Well, at least the eastern half of the coastal trail. So, been trying to get a lot of B-roll for this one. Um, I remember celebrating one year on YouTube. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, beauty! <laughs> one year on YouTube. <laughs> you think I just won a cup or something? Celebrating a year on YouTube, so taking my time, 
lots of b-roll lots of images uh, can you hear that guy just listen to the wind listen Oh yeah, beauty. Let's crack on. A welcome addition to some of my outings was that my better half Lisa joined me on a few occasions, the first of which was the ice cave video, and again on a scouting trip to a new location. More of that in 2021. But it was this trip to Laverty Falls which was the most enjoyable. It was as if Lisa could tell that I was at a low point and missing my photography. So with her encouragement, we got up early and headed to the falls. On the way down, we stopped at Waterside for some sunrise shots before heading to Laverty. We had the place to ourselves for a short time, but it soon became apparent that it was going to get busy, so reluctantly, we headed for the car. A wise decision in the end, as the parking lot was full on our return. The falls were in full flow after a few days of heavy rain, and despite our visit being cut short, we still managed to come away with some very nice images. We were now well into fall and I had ventured out on several occasions, not managing to capture any video but still managing to get some nice images. However, on an unplanned trip to Irish Town Nature Park, I managed to get some fantastic early morning images, which would prove to be some of my best of the year. Another one of my favourite outings from the year was a fantastic trip I had to Herring Cove with my daughter. It was not about the photography, but rather about being out, enjoying the surroundings, enjoying the company and having fun but we still managed a few nice images. So there you have it guys, 2020. What a year. <laughs> no wonder I called the video the F word. Well, for me, the F word stands for Fujifilm, although it could stand for Fundy. Either works. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave you with some more images. And let's hope that 2021 allows us a bit more freedom to do what we love doing most, and that's landscape photography. Getting out there and taking pictures and sharing them with everyone. So guys, all that's left to say is uh, a very happy new year to all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Cheers for now and a happy new year.